Hey, what is up guys, and welcome back once again to another Fallout 4 settlement build. Today, we're going to be checking out this dock in a box, which is both a doctor's office and also just a place you can come to and buy chems. By the way, for those of you wondering which mods I'm using, all of them are linked down in the description. So like always, feel free to check them out. But anyways guys, without further ado, let's take a closer look. Alright guys, so like usual, we'll start by checking out the outside of the build, and then once we're done doing that, we'll head on inside. But I'd say even though the boxcars are a relatively small area to build in, the one we've got made right now is actually quite a bit bigger than what we tried last time with the bar in a box. So as you can see if we head around back here, there is actually a second one hooked on to the main area we've got going. And as you can see, just to kind of decorate the walls and just fill in all the empty space in general, we have a few papers just kind of posted on the wall, some signs up above, and there's actually one on the back side too, which just says Chemicare. And then this one here that, as you can see, says Dock in a Box. Other than those, we do have a few other minor details, such as the milk machine, Although, let's be honest, I'm sure most Wastelanders these days are more so after the new Coca-Cola, but nonetheless, always nice to kind of mix things up and just try something new. And there's also the drugs sign, which just kind of goes along with the whole theme we've got going, the broken water machine to make things look a bit more run down, and also just to fill up some empty space. And then taking up the majority of the rest of the deck, there's some seats for waiting customers, or even waiting patients. And as you can see, I've also laid out a couple tables, which some have plants on and others have different books to read or games to play for anyone wanting to pass the time while they either wait for their chems to be ready or wait for their appointment. And even though we don't really have the best view of the counter from the outside here, we'll still check it out nonetheless. But as you can see, it is quite a bit more secure than the one we tried last time with the bar. As you can see, it's got a whole lot more protection. That way people aren't trying to shoot their way in or just reach over the counter and steal stuff. And then last but not least, we do have the decorative lights up above. But as for the front of the building, I'd say that's about it. Now moving over to the left hand side, you'll see this is where the actual Chemicare station is. And that's why there's all these signs posted outside, just kind of advertising that this is where the patients need to go and also just letting people know what it actually is. So you can see we have the one on the right, the big one up above, and then this sign here, which in my opinion is kind of a ripoff, says, On the verge of death? Try a stim pack. Only $2,000. Yeah, I'm not sure about you guys, but I'd rather not spend that kind of money. And besides, I think nowadays it's only, what, like 100 caps? But aside from that, we have some lights, just to brighten things up, especially during the nighttime, and also this gurney off to the side which I never really found room for inside, but nonetheless still wanted to add it in somewhere, so that's kind of why it's in that spot. And next up, we'll start by checking out the actual operation room. And before we really start taking a closer look at things, I will say, compared to the bar, this area is really, really cramped. So we could have gone even further and just kept adding more details and more details, although even for me, I thought this was a decent place to stop so you can see we have a few things and by the way this is where the doctor would sit and just kind of make notes and do other stuff with the patient uh, some more chems just in case those needed to be used quickly and some other medical machines such as this which as you can tell are just oxygen tanks and over to the back we've got an IV stand a few decorations here and there and I guess for this area I'd say that's Pretty much everything. Now moving over to the right hand side, you'll see we've got a sink and trash can just for cleanup purposes, a wheelchair in case one of the patients needed to sort of wheel around town, which obviously isn't finished yet, but maybe at this point the thing's just more so for rehabilitation purposes. And then there's also some more storage with the plants up there just to make things look at least a little bit less antagonizing but I'd say that's pretty much everything for this room. I am kinda 
disappointed that you can't really cover this section up, but I guess no one really notices it unless you really look up there. But anyways, moving into the main room, you'll see we have the big counter up front with lots and lots of chems just kind of strung out here. And I'm sure as you'd imagine, there's even more inside the cooler and the first aid box. And I'd say that's pretty much it for the front. So moving on to the right hand side, you'll see we have a desk and lots and lots of boxes where I'd presume most of the medical files are kept. Some more lockers for either supplies or maybe even defense purposes, since this probably is a rather highly sought after building to rob, especially by raiders. And by the way, if you're wondering where most of my signs come from, that would be the business settlement mod. Although I believe the bulletin board you see right here is actually part of the Homemaker Expanded mod. And then most of the little decorations like the bobbleheads and magazines, those are most likely going to come from the OC Decorator mod. But anyways, last but not least, we'll go ahead and check out the left side of the build, which is where most of the chems are made and kept. You'll see we've got a bag for the owner, because just like the bar in a box, the owner of this place actually sleeps here and stays here until he's kind of ready to move somewhere else in the Commonwealth, maybe where there's more money promised. So that's why these things are just sort of mobile homes and mobile businesses, and nothing here is really meant to stay. But we do have a few more wall decorations. You know, there's really no point to the uh, basketball hoop or basketball backboard back there, but I will say it does look better than nothing. And unfortunately, most of the other posters would kind of sink into the wall too much back there, so that was really the only thing that would ever work. But other than those, we do have the actual chemistry station where most of the chems would be made. And you can see quite a bit of those are just kind of thrown on the floor in a little basket. And we also have some tools to the right hand side along with a great big safe. And who the hell knows what's inside there. Maybe more chems, a pistol, or whatever other secrets you can imagine. But yeah guys, I'd say that'll just about do it for today. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy the build. Please let me know if you have any ideas for future builds or improvements we could make to this one and if you're still enjoying the uh, boxcar series that we have going right now. If not, we can always mix it up and try something new, but I'll be honest, I really have enjoyed making these so far, so I really would not mind continuing. But anyways guys, thanks again for watching and as always, I will see you in the next one.